We're just in Ubud in Bali, been here for like 10 days, we got another 8 or so days. Um, just thought we'd do a quick video of what we packed for the last 9 or 10 months travelling. 9 months travelling. 9 months. 9 um, months. Just thought it might be useful for other people who are going around the world or going travelling for a while. Just see what we've packed and get some ideas for yourself. Got a pretty nice view over the rice field. Do I say that because I can't to the see right it. I'm going to cut to the rice field. Um, so yeah, we both got the Osprey 5.70 bags. Um, I got the red one, Alice got the blue one. It's pretty good travelling as a couple because you can split things up. I carry the... what do I carry? I carry the soap. <laughs> the bathroom bag. <laughs> the bathroom bag. And Alex carries the first aid kit and... Electronic bag. Electronic bag. bag. Yeah. Although I don't look at yeah. anything to do with electronics, so I just let him carry that. So we don't have to carry like two of everything like between us, we just carry one extra big item. So instead of having like two shampoos, we have the shampoo bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's not in a packing cube. It's not in a packing cube, <laughs> no, because you were supposed to put it in a packing cube, but you did. Uh, what's in the bottom of my bag is a big beach towel, which is probably it's going like to go in the bin. This came in handy too, it's just a normal drawstring bag. Good for beaches? Good for beaches, yeah. And uh, carrying laundry and things. And the bag empty. Anything in the zip? Um, I think when I first started travelling, I put all uh, little bits drugs in there, but I think like paracetamol, yeah. not like narcotics. Not, no, not <laughs> and yeah, you've got some stuff then. to um, like differentiate your bag, the little string thing. These are my two things. I did have a bell on there, but it fell off on the first flight. Just so after the flights, you know it's your bag because these are quite popular bags. Yes, they are. Yeah. So that's the bag. The bathroom bag. Handy when you're travelling in a couple because you'll need one for the two of you. But in here. Lady things, shavers. I recommend this to anyone who goes traveling. It's like the Lush shampoo. It smells really good, but it's been a lifesaver. We haven't had to buy any bottles, and how long we've had, we've used three in the last 10 months. This so, is our third. So, one lasts about three months for two people. For two people. Yeah. My friend bought me this because she's so nice. Still going. A little travel razor. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Soap and stuff we've just been buying on the way. Toothbrushes we've been rebuying mm -hmm. every few months. Earplugs. Earplugs. That's in this bag. Oh, they're there. Oh. <laughs> they? Earplugs. I didn't really use much of these. No, just in that have... first couple of months. Um, tiger balm. Tiger balm. That's been good. Just because you will get sweaty everywhere. Roll on. And here we've got scissors, nail file. Clippers, tweezers, lip balm, um, just lip stuff. Tooth, what's that thing called? Tooth floss, floss. For tooth floss. Tooth floss. Um, bought eye drops because I had quite bad uh, hay fever in New Zealand, and that's been quite useful mm -hmm. for travelling. This is our washing line. This yeah, it's got like hooks on it. Yes, or oh, and you can use the and suckers. also suction pads. So, so that's, that's everything in the bathroom bag. Bathroom bag. At the moment, there's also a big bottle of conditioner that, that's not in there because that's oh, yeah. in but the bathroom. I, but I knew we were going to stay somewhere for a long time. Yeah. Um, I haven't really used much conditioner, but I've noticed in like the Amazon, basically anywhere humid, you need it for your Yeah. Hair. Stealing shampoos and hotel stuff whenever we can, yeah. like the shampoos and the body wash and stuff. A little bag of. So this is basically just a bag of junk. Well, not really, but yeah, mm. really a bag of junk. I've got one, one hat. Two, two hats. hats. I really don't need one, but I found this one, so I kept. <laughs> oh, and this one I found. And a third this hat, so That was I mine. Found... No, it's not. It's my hat. Okay. Yeah, we found this one too. Found that in Argentina. It was. It kept me warm because my ears yeah. were bloody frozen in Argentina. Tennis, Tennis ball. ball. Always fun for the beach. And in here, I don't actually know what's in here. Oh, surprise. Oh. Uh, more drugs? More drugs. Malaria drugs? Yeah, malaria yeah. drugs. Uh, another hat. That you've rarely used. That I've never used. A, a spare wallet. That I've never used. used. And a money belt, which you've I've never, never used. never used, so you'll find that every single traveller that you meet has one of these and never, ever, ever, ever uses it. Okay. Next. Next. 
This is a it's a rain mac. Really useful for it's anywhere really it pours down. It absolutely stinks. Oh, like the Amazon, oh, like isn't the Amazon. it? Yeah. But it's really good, it just like, covers everything because yeah. it covers your bag, your big bag, if you've got it on your back and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because we didn't buy covers for our bags, yeah. so it's handy. A sleeping bag, which is handy in South America for all the buses and stuff, come gave us blankets. Some trainers, let's put these in Thailand. Thailand, yeah. yeah. They're really good for temples, aren't they? Yeah, they were really good for Because temples, you have to take your shoes off and on and you can't wear flip-flops, so yeah. those little plimsolls are good. And these we used a lot in South America. The like ugly sandals. merrils. Yeah, they're absolutely hideous, but they're quite comfortable. But now we've just wear flip flops in Southeast Asia. Yeah, in Southeast Asia, are all like worn as flip flops and those. And this I have never used, so don't bother buying one. The little gel, little hand towel. Yeah, I don't know, it might come in useful for some people. But... You've never used yours either. I did. When have you ever used yours? When I got pooed on by a bird. You got pooed when? In Buenos Aires. So you use it once in... For, yep, for 10, I've yeah. never used Well, it cost one pound, so... Did it? Yeah. This Sewing kit. I have used a lot. Really so. useful, yeah. yeah. Don't go around the world without one. The last thing is... Clothes bag. The clothes bag. My clothes have changed quite a lot since travelling, but mostly because the clothes I started with were, like, really travel clothes that all the books told you, told you to buy. And I just felt unpretty in them, so I had to rebuy really lots of nice pretty things. So, fibre towel. Microfibre towel. Uh, shorts, always handy. Like, running shorts, they dry really quick. Uh, Under Armour top, bikinis. Uh, sports top. Sport, two sports tops I've got. They're really good for if you want to do any exercise or just a general sweating. One skirt, which I loved, and but lots of people thought they were pajama bottoms. <laughs> that wasn't fun. They're good. It's good for temples though. Yeah, it's good for temples. Covers all your legs. Yeah. One dress, two dress. This dress has been with me through the whole of the travels. <laughs> Everything else I've pretty much bought. Shorts. These. Ugly zip-off trousers. These are hideous, but these are really good in South America for walking and stuff, and you can do the unzipping things. Yeah, they're hideous. I did have another white pair, but they're gone. Bin them, because <laughs> they're not necessary. The, that's another, that's a maxi dress that one. It has some bird poop on it somewhere. It was outside to dry. And of course, two temple pants. <laughs> a fleece. This was handy in South America. I also had another fleece, but it wasn't like a fleece. It was like a, what was it? Like a, that purple fleece. Oh, like a lighter fleece. It was basically Microfiber a lighter kind of fleece, fleece but yeah. that came in really handy when we went to, when we went hiking up the mountains. Mm -hmm. Because it was bloody freezing. And I also had to, this is a compulsory dye. When we were in Disneyland. I haven't worn it much since Disneyland because I think California was the coldest place yeah. we went to. Just on some buses and stuff or flights happens. where it's really cold. My underwear. I started off with these kind of bras. They're really good for sports bras, but they ended up like falling apart after a few months and constant wearing, so I had to bin them. And I bought these in Australia. They're really comfortable. What else what you need when you're traveling? So I have two pairs of those. One of those, but I originally had, I think, four to begin with mm -hmm. for traveling. Strapless. Thank you. Strapless. Uh, I've got three pairs of socks. I don't think I ever use socks much. Just in your trainers, isn't it? I wore like the Merrells a lot. Yeah, Merrells don't need socks. And then knickers. I have, I think I had seven knickers. Some of them have fallen apart. Yeah, and you've bought some along the way. Along the way yeah. So seven knickers are good. Good start. Good and then start. you just buy more. Yeah, like had, a, a jumper. Yeah, big we thick. had a few cotton t-shirts that we had free for doing like stuff. Skydiving, skydiving and mountain biking and stuff. Yeah, so those are gone because cotton t-shirts are really not fun. But I, had a, I bought a really fluffy jumper in I'll pack, Bolivia. I'll pack a jumper. I'll pack a, the, I'll pack cl a. the classic. Yeah, but that's gone because I fell in a bush <laughs> and it got like all these pine things got. So that's gone. Clothes that you've replaced because there's yeah. cheaper options in Thailand and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. that's it. That's everything in my bag. In your big bag. In my big bag. Yep. Bye! -bye. Basically, in New Zealand, because we were on the Kiwi bus, we had to buy a lot of food, so that's the reason why we bought it. Mm. Um, now we yeah, take it now everywhere. It's literally full of crap. Yeah, it's really good for buses, but it's quite inefficient. It means we have to carry another thing. Uh, this is a tub with two tea bags left. Oh, it used to be full of tea bags. It was full of tea bags, but. We need to buy more. <laughs> Plastic bags, bags. Always useful. This is Alex's hoodie that he refuses to keep away in his normal bag. Yeah, it's too bulky. Plus, you, you like to wear it on all the buses, so that's like our bus bag, and you always wear my hoodie on the buses because it's so, so cold on them. Tissues. Lots you always tissues. need these, especially in Southeast Asia, because no toilets in Southeast Asia have toilet paper, yeah. so you always have to save them out. So on the buses, when you stop at a toilet, very useful. And that's a snorkel. And snorkel that Alex had bought, bought because it was a very, very good deal, apparently. Yeah, and that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.
Just a good bus bag. It's kind of annoying having to carry an extra thing, but. Uh, it's my bag, same as Alice's, just the red one. She didn't show you the straps, but this back piece comes down and that like rolls away. And then you've got your straps, carry it in the bag. But to be honest, most of the time we just use the handles because we either on buses or planes. We quite rarely use it as a backpack unless we're in like. We used it a lot in South America. South America, yeah, but lately I just seem to carry both mine and Alice's. And then, yeah, I should do carry mine. Um, got some stuff to show it's mine, like a yellow bag that never came off. I like, hang on, I just got to show everyone this lady. What's her name? Forgotten. It's someone oh, yeah. lady's name on there. That's not you. Suzanne Elizabeth Ashwood, whoever you are. Hello, Suzanne. Um, name tag and a lock. Alice also had a lock. Really useful, obviously. This bit here is broken on my bag. It's been broken since Fiji. Bolivia. Or Bolivia. Wasn't it? Yeah. Can't remember. Pretty sure Osprey would fix it if I wanted, but I can't bother to send the bag back, whatever. So that's meant to clip in. Uh, yeah, it's the Osprey 4.70. Um, so it's like a game of Tetris. You've got like packing cubes. I put the towel on top to kind of just protect everything. Uh, just a microfiber towel. Then I've got a laptop case, which doesn't have a laptop in it. Um, like a notepad with loads of pens, a couple of felt tips, a colour in, a couple of pens for writing. Incense, really useful for making your room smell nice in smelly hostels. <laughs> a knife that I made in CMR. Uh, a dry bag, which is useful for like, rafting and stuff like that, putting all the sort of passports in, and pretty much that. So yeah, I don't really put my laptop in it, I use it kind of just to protect anything that needs to stay flat. Got a woolly hat that I don't really use, all that's in there is my glasses case. When I go on buses or planes, I either have my normal glasses on or sunglasses, so there's always at least one in there. Um, Electronics bag, which I'll do separately because there's loads of stuff in there. I carry the first aid bag, which again, got stuff in. Yeah, that's, that's what's handy about travelling in a couple. Like, you can split things up. Yeah. Like, you don't so have to I put everything. I carry the electronics and the first aid. Alice carries the bathroom bag. This camera tripod, which I've used probably less than ten times. Yeah. Remember when I said when we first went travelling, do you really need that? And you said, yes, I really do. Well, I thought it'd be useful, but... How many times have you used it? Sorry? Less than ten. Less than ten? Once, probably once a month. Less no. than ten times no. in the last ten months. But it, it would be useful, but just kind of too bulky. It's a Joby Gorilla Pod. Good for some people, I guess. Um, underwear bag. So, like... Nobody wants to see your dirty pairs boxes. Of socks, five pairs of boxes. Which, again, have been replaced in the last ten months by new pairs, throwing some old ones out. And Alex hasn't really worn much boxes <laughs> in the last few I mean, months. Yeah, I just kind of wear, like... Uh, in Thailand and Laos and, yeah, Vietnam, you've worn mostly swimwear. swimwear. Yeah. Junk bag, which has got candles from Alice's birthday. A spare wallet, which like every traveller has, because they get told if you're you you given the spare wallet, but I never carry it. Um, some more malaria tablets, which we haven't used. Uh, a mount for my GoPro, which we've used like once, a chest mount. Yeah, for two times. Um, this was like full of anti-insect stuff, so it's like anti-insect fans, mosquito repellent wipes, and a bike clicker. Click on your bike, and it's just like a tiny little electric shock. It kind of takes the itch away. More malaria fast tablets we haven't used. Weight scales, which never used. My microphone <laughs> towel that I lost, I think. Yeah. Um, sellotape, always kind of useful. Same as Alice, uh, a waist belt thing, which I've never used. Every traveler has one, but you never bother wearing it. Wet wipes and some more sellotape. Rain jacket, rarely wear. I kind of, if I'm going to get rained on, I just use my poncho, which is in one of the next ones. In here I've got one pair of trainers, one pair of merrells, and plimsolls, which seems as good for temples. And the flip-flops are outside. And then the last bag that's in here, just clothes bag. I think Alice mentioned, but always for all the clothes, because there's loads of stuff in here. So I've got one pair of the long um, zip-off trousers, which are ugly, the rolled up under armour vest, long sleeve vest, that was good for like the Amazon to protect your arms from bites. That's kind of like dry kind of material, dry fit material. And then under armour top, same as this one. It's a cheap Thailand vest, some more like swimming shorts, cotton shorts. I love those shorts. <laughs> uh, a one pound <laughs> vest I got from Australia, that was a bargain. Long temple pants, they're kind of warm but you need to wear them in temples. Some more shorts which I wore for like three months straight in Thailand <laughs> and now they've they kind of worn out on the crotch. Oh, they were your favourite trousers. They're my favourite. They got dogs on them. But yeah, they they well, they go in the bin actually. Uh, a Nike vest, um, Nike running shorts, the long trousers. trousers. What's in? What's left, Ellie? Uh, that is a sleeping bag cover. Oh or yeah. Just like a light sleeping bag, good for like if the hostel's got a really dirty bed. And the poncho, 
which just covers all of you and is big enough to go over my bag as well. It's raining. Um, that's pretty much it. Straps that come out the back. In here you've got the zip off mesh bit. But zip off mesh bit or? Zip, zip mesh bit. <laughs> I don't really like to use it though. I've got all that's really in there is my other glasses case. But I don't like it because when it's closed it kind of makes stuff poke out when it's really full. Mm. So I pretty much keep nothing in there. Everything just goes flat with a laptop piece on top and then the towel. And it's just a nice game of Tetris all nicely stuffed away. I think you should repack it all now. Yeah. So over the last 10 months, I've kind of got this game of Tetris perfected and pretty much always goes in the same way. So big clothes bag, a random drunk bag, like off to one side, the Mac by here, uh, electronic bag there, actually not electronic bag there, first aid kit, shoes, stuff down the bottom, and then back at the top, with the tripod I never use, just beneath it, it's going to keep it protected. Hat in between this section here. Then, laptop case on the top. Then, microphone hole on top to protect pretty much everything. Yours is far more tidier than mine. <laughs> I'm just trying to squash everything in. So, just kind of put that there, kind of wrap it round, tuck it in. And use the straps. Straps. Zip it up for another day. Zip it up. And then So that's it for my main bag. What have you binned along the way or what have we got rid of or what do you oh. find that you needed to buy along the way? So same as you. South America was just some extra hoodies and some extra jumpers which are thrown away. Thrown away just generally lots of shorts and t-shirts. In my, what's this? Day sack. Day sack. <laughs> I've got hand cream, essential for flights and stuff. Okay. This is basically, this is more drugs. I basically have been bitten to death by all things with teeth, so I had to buy cream. Bite and cream and anti-itch anti tablets. Tablets. Yeah. Pen, my most favourite tasting lip balm. I love Sun bum. I want to lick it. <laughs> Pack of cards. Always useful. Machu Picchu playing cards. And this is the Osprey far, far point bag that comes that you meant to zip onto the main luggage, but we never really do. We just use it as hand luggage on planes and buses and stuff. Right. Headphones, you need those. Deet for bite. anti insect repellent. Yeah, insect. Anti insect repellent. <laughs> <laughs> no, just insect repellent. Yeah. Yep. Um, sun cream. Sun cream, a Bible. We a, had one for every country. Yeah, one for South America, one for Southeast mm. Asia. Yes. Yep. Buy one. This is, I don't know why it's in a bag, but colour and pencils and a colouring book for those long, boring journeys. The 30 hour bus journeys. Yeah. This was initially just to keep my journal tidy, but um, I ended up filling it with crap. Yeah, like tickets and like tickets souvenir and tickets and, and yeah. leaflets, museum maps and stuff. To... These are really useful. Yeah, Little sporks. Two sporks, handy for yeah. lovely couples. When you yeah. buy, on long bus journeys, you buy food or whatever, but they don't come with forks or spoons, so... Got those recyclable ones, oh no, washable ones. Raincoat. Raincoat. Disposable camera that my friend Meg bought for me. An iPad. Mobile phone, which I rarely use. Sunny G's. Couple journals. One for like writing what I've done and the other one for like note making. Finally, this is amazing. This is probably really handy. It's called a travel wallet. Travel document holder? Yeah. So it's got yeah. basically everything really yeah. important in there. Don't so, lose that. Yeah, that's, that's one thing we're not allowed to lose. We can yeah. lose anything else but not this. Yeah. And that's my day bag. Okay. Pretty much. And it's got a lock on it again for like buses or whatever. When we fall asleep on buses overnight, it's good to have your bag locked up, mm -hmm. especially in South America. A couple of people yeah. Lost there. Yeah. And you've got some carabiners on there, which good for like hanging water bottles and, and stuff. Water bottles. My day sack, same as Alice's, just the red one, but a buff, like uh, in the one pocket. 
to put around your neck or head or whatever, they're really useful. I don't really use it much in South America. But My favourite time you used it was when you went pirate mode in when we were walking for ages. In the Inca jungle. Yeah, that was yeah. funny. Um, got like two, three carabiners or something with a random paper clip. I don't know why that's still on there. Little handy towel. Alice doesn't like hers, but I think it's. Handy? Cool. How many yeah. times have you used it? Well, if I ever spilled How many times have you used it? Yeah, a lock to lock the bag up and some flags. There should be 20 flags on here, but I haven't bothered to sew them on. <clears throat> So you didn't sew them on to well, begin yeah, with? Yeah, Alice sewed these ones on and since then she hasn't sewed on the other 14 or so. But yeah, that's uh, in this little front section. I carry uh, antibacterial hand gel, iPhone charger, uh, earphones, sleeping pills, really good for long flights. Um, Do you... Headphone splitter. This is like... Sorry, what? This is like the best thing ever. So we can both listen, me and Alice can both listen to the same podcast or watch the same movie or whatever. Just plug it in and you put two headphones in there. Uh, LED torch. That actually, I lost my first one in the Anson jungle, so I had to buy a new one. Like, you lost it because it was camouflaged. Yeah. Uh, another sun cream lip balm. A lighter, always good for the incense or generally burning stuff. Uh, mints. <laughs> one earplug because I lost, lost the other one. Um, oh, that's a lovely collection there. <laughs> yeah. so that's all in the print section. And in the main bit, got one book I should probably carry on reading. Uh, and a Musk book, which I finished, keeping it for the moment. And my MacBook charger. Sometimes I keep it in my hand luggage. Uh, sometimes I put it in the main bag, depending on if I think the bus or the plane or whatever is going to have a socket or going to be in the airport for a while working. Um, bigger earphones, which are good for planes, going to block out a bit more of the sound. Uh, then in the bottom, I keep my hat and the plastic bag. Kind of You're obsessed with plastic bags. You have no, plastic no, bags plastic. hidden. What? The plastic bag protects the bottom. Right? Oh. So if I ever put my bag down on something wet, it kind of stops the water leaking in because what I do, I put the camera that Alice has got in her hands right now in the hat and then in the bottom, so the camera's always in there. Um, in the back section, a nice little snug fit. fit. Nice, perfect fit for that. And I think it's not a bit. And then in the zip section, the one terabyte lacy hard drive, this cable, a little random paper notebook I bought in Peru. Some random stuff that you don't know. Nothing. And one Sharpie and one pen, which is good for filling in forms and stuff on planes and that's it. When have you ever used the Sharpie to fill in a form? Um, never. <laughs> I've used the pen to fill in a form and other than that that's pretty much everything we've got. Uh, the camera but you can't see that. Camera and an iPhone, both got iPhones which I keep mine in my pocket and wallet in my pocket pretty much always. Yay! Yeah.